Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, you can already tell that I'm smiling ear to ear, and that can only mean one thing, a brand new drone. And that's absolutely what I'm going to show you today. Because a couple of weeks ago, I got a really mysterious email from DJI saying, Rick, we have a new product coming out. Would you like to be involved? And of course I said yes. And then this morning, my doorbell rang, and out there on the front porch was a brown box. I brought it inside, and I opened it up, and guess what was inside? That's right, the brand new DJI Air 3 drone. Now, I couldn't be more excited to get inside this box, but you can see it's sealed. I haven't opened it up yet, but for me, the engineering behind what DJI is doing with their drones is always really enchanting because they're a company that thinks about what I'm gonna do with the drone up in the air, and they try to always be ahead of the curve with introducing new features and functions that make their drones some of the best that are out there today, and I've been a fan of their products for a long time. I fly a lot of different manufacturers of drones, but I find that DJI is constantly innovating, constantly introducing new features and functions that put their drones a little bit ahead of the pack, and I'm sure the Air 3's got a lot of features that we haven't seen before, and I'm gonna get into that in a minute. But I did read through the manual because I got a lot of background information about the drone, and I can tell you, I love the original Air 2. I love the Air 2S even more. It's my go-to drone. Whenever I'm out flying, I'm flying that drone, whether I'm working commercially or I'm out there flying for fun. It's the perfect mid-sized drone. So I thought to myself, when the 3 showed up, what could they have possibly done to make it a better drone than the Air 2S? And I'll get into that in a second clip, but I want to do the unboxing today to show you what the drone looks like because not only did they change things on the drone, but they offer new controllers as well. There's a generation two of the controllers that are out. Now this one has the DJI RC2, the version two of it, which has changed a little bit, and I'll show you that. So what I'd like to do, instead of making this a 45 minute clip, I thought I'd do an unboxing first just to show you what comes with the kit, and then I'll spend some time looking at the drone, taking closer looks. I'll talk about the differences between the Air 2S and the Air 3, so you understand exactly what this product provides. But for me, <laughs> the engineering team at DJI is a brilliant group of people, and I'm sure they've been working really hard for the last year or two on what this drone was gonna look like, and I bet we're gonna see features on this drone that you won't find anywhere else on a mid-sized drone, but we'll see it in a minute. So enough talking, let's get inside the box because boy, I'm like a kid at Christmas. Even though I fly a lot of drones, whenever a new drone shows up like this, I have a couple of months of just getting outside and flying every day, which I love to do. And we've had some pretty good weather. So this thing's gonna be up in the air in about an hour and a half once I charge the batteries. But for now, let's get inside the box. So I've got my slice opener right here. Now I've talked about this guy on the channel before. I love this little slice opener. Let me pop the cellophane in the top. Oh man, I love opening a new drone. This is just like, this is like Christmas for a guy like me, boy. I'll tell you, nothing gets me more excited than new technology, especially drones. All right, so what we've got here is the box. It's the Air 3. Uh, it's got the new controller. Again, this is the DJI RC2, which is a little bit different than the original DJI RC and the drone. There it is, beautiful, beautiful box. It's got all the specifications on the outside. Works with Apple, works with Android, so you guys know that. This one, you don't have to worry about a phone because the screen's built into the controller. All right, let's open up the top of this. I guess I'll use the slicer on that. There we go. Okay, the box is open. <laughs> all right, inside the box, we've got a beautiful case. Let me get this guy out of here. So right off the bat, oh boy, right off the bat, you can see that it comes with a really nice carrying case. It's a soft case. It's got a really nice, like, uh, sort of a pseudo plastic or pseudo leather exterior. It's gonna be really easy to keep it clean. Looks incredibly durable. A nice strap here for the shoulder strap. And it's plenty, it looks plenty big enough to fit the drone and a bunch of other things inside. So I like that a lot. I really appreciate the fact that DJI is building in cases with their drones now because a lot of times you would get the drone, it would be inside some kind of styrofoam case or plastic case or even in a box. And then what do you do with it when you take it out in the field? The first thing you're going to start looking for is a case to put the drone in. So the fact that this is included with the fly more combination means that I've got a place to keep my drone to protect it. But more importantly, it helps me organize all the things I'll want to take along for flying because trust me, there's nothing worse than going out on a beautiful day to a, a location that you want to fly, opening up your box, whatever you've got your drone in, and realizing you're missing something. You're missing a cable, you're missing this, you're missing that. So having a case like this means that everything stays inside the case. I can charge the drone, charge the controller, head out, and just have a lot of fun. All right, so enough talking. Let's get inside the case. All right, so I'll open it up. There's a little latch on the bottom. You pull down on it, spring load it, pops open like this. And inside, <laughs> here are all the goodies. So it looks like the drone's off to the side. I've got a bag here. Well, I'm sure of a lot of accessories. I'm going to receive propellers in there. And then I've got on the front... The new controller. <laughs> I'll open that in a minute. <laughs> What's this in the back? 
Oh, it's the charging hub. All right, so this unit, because it's a Flymore, comes with a charging hub, which is really like a gigantic version of the charging hub for the Mini. It's different than the other charging hubs that they've had with their other drones, and the batteries are radically different as well. So I'll take a look at those in a minute. What else we got in here? Let's see. Well, here's the drone. <laughs> Let's put that over there. Anything else in the bottom? No. Oh, one nice thing in the bottom of this, there's a you can't see it. I don't know if it comes out. No, it doesn't come out. There's a little foam insert that actually holds the drone securely in place. So it's not like a lot of them where you're sliding it in a bag and it can rattle around in the bottom. This one has a little foam in the bottom that will actually sort of nestle in the front of the drone so that the camera is surrounded by that foam. And that way, if you're throwing this in the back of your car and something else bumps up against it, it's not going to cause any issues with the drone. All right, so I don't know what to open first. I, I just, I'm so excited because this is new, this is new, and this is new. So let me start with the basic stuff first. Let, let's start with the charging hub. All right, so it's inside a really nice plastic bag, which looks impossibly difficult to open. Here we go. There's a little tab up here at the top. Let me rip this guy open here. All right, so at first glance, we've got the brand new charging hub, which will charge three batteries uh, in sequence. Now, every DJI charging hub up to this point, and I'm sure this one is the same, I have to read through the manual on it, will charge the drone battery that needs the least amount of charge first. So when you plug this into your charger, and by the way, you're gonna need a PD charger that's at least 65 watts or more powerful. DJI sells a charger that's 100 watts, which works perfectly with this. It's a USB-C connection. But once you connect that up to your powerful charger, It'll interrogate the batteries that are in the hub. It'll find the battery that needs the least amount of charge and charge that battery fully first. When that's charged, it'll automatically move on to the next battery that needs the least amount of charge, and then finally onto the third one. Now, what's unique about this hub, and I'm gonna spend a lot of time talking about this in another clip, is the fact that there's the ability, if I have two batteries in here with a little bit of power left in them, and I slide a third battery in, I can hold the button and actually transfer the charge, whatever's left on those two batteries, into that third battery. So you can actually squeeze a little bit of extra juice out of whatever's left in those batteries to charge this one. That's another advanced function built into the hub. So that's the hub. Batteries go in there pretty straightforward. Basically slide in from the front, you're good to go. So I think this is incredibly cool the way these slide in here. All right, so that's the battery hub. Let's take a look at the controller next because I know a lot of people were speculating about the new version of the controller. What did they change? What's different? And again, I'll do detailed clips on all of these uh, separately. Just today, I want to get through the unboxing and I'll give you some hints on what's going on with these, with these technologies. <laughs> all right, so this is the DJI RC2. Now, to me, at first glance, it looks exactly like the original DJI RC, except for one feature, antennas. Antennas on the top. Now. This is a bit controversial, and I'll talk about it, I guess, at length in another clip as well. But a lot of people said when the DJI RC came out, when you compared it to the DJI RC N1, which was the one without the display, that that one, because it had an antenna on the top of it, gave you better range. Now, I didn't have any problems with it because I fly within visual line of sight, which for me is about 3,000 feet away. I had no problem with either remote controller, but if people were trying to fly really far out, they were saying that the N1 controller had a little better range because of the antennas. So what we've got here is the new version of the DJI RC with two external antennas. And overall, this gives us a six antenna setup. So I think you've got just really a pretty incredible controller here with the addition of these antennas on the top. Other than that, it looks pretty much the same as the DJI RC. I don't see anything different, major different between it. The buttons seem to be in the same place. You're storing the joysticks on the back over here. And again, I'll do a much closer look at this once we get through this unboxing. But today it's just the unboxing. And now for the drone. <laughs> Let me just gather my thoughts a second here because I know there's changes on here that are gonna blow me away and I'm gonna show you them in a minute. So let me just gather my thoughts and calm down because I'm really excited. I had a lot of coffee today and uh, I want you to be able to hear my speech so I don't start sounding like a Martian because I'm talking too fast. All right, so here we go. All right, so here comes the drone. <laughs> All right, now to my eye, it looks like the plastic is a little bit darker gray, which is kind of cool, but fundamentally, it's very, very similar to the Air 2S. Now, I know there's a lot of differences. It's got the three, uh, four actual, four obstacle avoidance directional. So it's got sides, front, back, up and down. Um, and you can see the sensors on the unit itself. Now to open up the product, boy, oh boy, this is just beautiful. Just a beautiful drone. All right, so let me open the top arms and then I'll open the bottom arms. 
and there's the drone. Now, the, uh, I don't have the propellers on it yet, but that's what you're looking at as far as the drone goes. On the rear of the drone, you've got your battery right there. It slides out by hitting these two little clasps on the side, springs out of the drone, slides back in the drone, and you'll hear that satisfying click when you pop it all the way in. On the bottom, there's a USB-C connection right there and an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot. So if you're gonna put your, oh man, if you're gonna put your SD card right in there, slide it in, and that's where you're gonna charge it. Now, if you don't have the Flymore combination, you can charge the batteries directly in the drone, but I will tell you that one of the first things I'll recommend if you have a choice to pick up this drone is to definitely look at the Flymore combo because what's gonna happen once you put this drone up for the first time is you're gonna realize how much you enjoy flying. And even though this gets phenomenal airtime, and I'll get into that in a minute, you're gonna to wanna to fly longer. And the only way you're gonna fly longer is by having extra batteries. So if you buy a second or third battery, then all of a sudden you're thinking, well, gee, how am I gonna charge those batteries? Well, you can rotate them through the drone, charge one when it's full, pull it out, charge another one. But there are two problems with that for me. Number one, I don't like using an expensive drone like this as my battery charger, because even though you're passing current through the drone, the drone wakes up and it's kind of working when you're charging it. And the second problem is you can only charge one battery at a time. So you have to kind of keep track of them, pull the cord off, slide out the battery slide the new battery and then charge it again the charging hub is a great addition that allows you to basically charge it at the same time sequentially so you connect it up to your charger so it's an automated charging sequence whereas here you're the automation you've got to pull the battery out slide the new battery in and constantly watch it so my strong recommendation is if you're considering this drone the fly more combination when you add up the cost of the batteries the battery charging hub the case the extra propellers you get it's a way better value as a kit than going out and picking up all these accessories on their own. So just give that some thought. I know if you're budget conscious, maybe the drone is enough with the battery and you've got a controller you can use already. But if you're looking to really invest in this system, the Flymer combination is a way better deal. So enough said about that. All right, so let's take a look at the drone. So some basic specifications about the drone before I pop that front off, because one of the major innovations on the drone, besides the advanced flight time and the OcuSync 4 technology that connects it to the controller, is the camera system up front. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But the basic fundamentals of the drone are increased flight time. Now, the Air 2S flew about 31 minutes, and I know that's sort of top end. You'll never get 31 minutes out of a battery, but that's the published maximum flight time on the Air 2S. With this one, 46 minutes. 46 minutes of flight time. Oh my gosh, that's 50% better than the Air 2S up in the air, and it's because of the gigantic battery. So the battery is, is much bigger. It's an energy-dense battery. It's got a lot more energy density inside of it, and it's a different architecture, too. The other one slid in from the top. This one slides in from the back, just like we're doing today in the Mavic 3 series. So it's, it's an updated design with a bigger battery, 46 minutes of flight time. That's unbelievably good up in the air for a drone of this size. You're probably wondering about the communication technology between the drone and the controller. Well, we were up to O3 or OcuSync 3 on previous generations. This uses the new OcuSync 4, or the O4 technology, which gives you, get this, a 1080p feed from here to the remote. So you're watching the drone in crystal clear clarity from the camera, and that's super important when you're flying because if you're out there and you're close to branches or you're close to other things or you wanna make sure you've got the exact right framing of your target when you're recording video or taking pictures, a 1080 feed is absolutely amazing at 60 frames a second. So it's almost like you're strapped to the bottom of the drone flying and you're seeing that on your controller. So incredibly good there. That also gives you a longer flight distance. Now, you're not gonna fly this far, but that O4 technology in an unobstructed area will give you up to 20 kilometers of flight distance. That That's just incredibly good. Now, again, I'm not recommending you fly 20 kilometers away because in the United States, and I always get grief for this, but I gotta remind you, we have a visual line of sight requirement, which means you can't fly it further than you can see it. So in close, for me, having that strong signal means I'm not gonna have to worry about flying behind trees or maybe I lose sight of it behind a building for a couple of seconds, or there's a lot of Wi-Fi interference in the area. You're gonna have a rock solid signal and not have to worry about losing connection. So OcuSync 4 technology, 46 minutes of flight time, and now we'll get to the, the camera up front. So let me pop off the housing. And the cool thing about the camera is that it's a dual lens camera. So this is something that DJI has been starting on a lot of their enterprise level drones, but it's a, a dual camera. Now, both of the sensors on the camera are one over 1.3 inch, but they're two different styles of camera. So for example, the one main lens is a wide angle lens, it'll give you a field of view of 82 degrees, but it's got an aperture of f1.7. So that's your main lens that you're gonna take most of your videos from. But the other lens is a medium telephoto lens, which is gonna give you a field of view of 35. So it's gonna be a little bit 
thinner this way, but it's a 70 millimeter equivalent and that's at f2.8 aperture. So you've got a combination there where you've got a beautiful landscape shot and you've also got that medium telephoto where you can pull in on tight on a target and get some pretty incredible video from quite a ways away. And that's important because if you're flying around any kind of wildlife or people or you're taking pictures of homes, the further you can stay away from annoying things would be good. So if you're flying over a flock of birds or there's geese on the ground, whatever you're trying to film, being far away and pulling in with the medium telephoto allows you to stay far away, not disturb that wildlife, but still get the shot you need. So I think that's pretty incredible. The other thing that's amazing about this is that it gives you somewhat of a vertical shoot as well, which I, I got to play around with that. But the fact that it can actually spin a little bit vertically is just amazing. So I'll have to see exactly what that can do for me. But in general, I think the dual camera system up front is everything I'm looking for because it was something that we were really looking for in the Mavic 3 series. It came out a couple of years ago in the original Mavic 3. They've since enhanced it now with the third lens on the new Mavic 3 Pro, I think it's called, which is, um, which is really the enterprise drone to own. So the fact that they took that technology and brought it down to what I'll call a mid-range drones in the in the Air series uh, is just amazing to me. So I'm gonna get this thing up in the air and, and spend a lot of time with it, but right now, I don't know. This is sort of in that Goldilocks zone where the Mini 3s are great. The Mini 3 Pro is a wonderful drone. Small, it's great for vacations. If you're looking to be serious about flying, <clears throat> this one, the Air 3, I think is exactly the drone you want. Now, the Mavic 3 Pro and some of the Mavic 3 variations are certainly an enterprise drone. If you're doing any kind of commercial work, that's where you want to end up. But I don't know. I mean, the balancing act between where the Mavic 3 is and where the Air 3 fits, that's going to be an interesting comparison, and I'll definitely take some time and go through that. All right, so let's get to the last bag here with a bunch of goodies in it, just so you know everything that's included with the kit. So this has got a whole lot of stuff inside of it. Let me get this opened up. I may need to get the cutter out here because, boy, these are sure sealed up nice and tight. Nothing's going to fall out of here for sure. All right, so what do we got in here? We got a ton of blades, tons of props. Okay, there's a ton of props right there. Uh, you get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. There's 12 props individually. So let's see, I can do my math on that. That's 12 props, I need four for the unit. That's three sets of props. One comes with the unit, I've got two extra sets of props. And again, when you're changing the props, make sure you get the clockwise and counterclockwise on the right motor but you've got a ton of props. Not that you're gonna need them because it's got crash avoidance in all directions, but every now and then you're gonna catch a bug or you get too close to a branch and you'll nick the prop. So you've got plenty of props to change it out. So essentially what you're getting with the fly more combination is the beautiful drone, this Air 3, which I'm gonna have up in the air. I promise you as, as quickly as I can charge a battery, I'll have this thing outside flying today, but you get the drone. If you go with the fly more combination, you get the charging hub and you get two extra batteries, which again, extends your flight time three times 46 minutes. You you could be out there for half an afternoon and just having a whole lot of fun. And trust me, you're going to be smiling like I am right now because I can't wait to get this in the air. And then if you go with the Fly More with the DJI RC2, you're going to get this beautiful display on the front. You don't have to worry about using your phone or a tablet. And it's got the antennas on the top of it. So now you've got OcuSync 4 technology, external antennas with a rock solid connection. It's really everything you could hope for. Oh, I almost forgot about the bag. You're getting the carry bag as well. All of this fits inside that carry bag. So for me, You've got everything you need to get out there and have a whole lot of fun. And the best part is summer's just starting. So you've got a lot of months of great flying time ahead of you to find that beautiful lake or find that beautiful forest or have a party with the family and capture some great pictures or go on vacation, take it with you there. You can tell I'm really excited about this. <laughs> anyway, that's all I really had for today. I want to get through the unboxing. Now, I promise you, I have a lot more clips coming that are going to compare this to other drones on the market. I'm going to take a closer look at it. I'm going to go through the specifications in much more detail. And I'm going to give you a couple of hacks that I've already figured out of how you can improve your flying skills out there with this drone and how you can charge it and some other things that would really help you as a flyer. But for now, that's all I really had. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I love talking about technology and nothing gets me more excited than talking about drones because to me, being a technology guy, a product like this should not exist. A flying robot with a DSLR-like ca camera on the front of it that can fly far, it's got automation built in, it's got beautiful technology around it, it's just a product that shouldn't be out there, and here it is right in front of me, so I can't wait to get outside and have some fun with it. And that's pretty much all I had for today, so hopefully you found this clip helpful. I promise you there's more stuff coming, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy! Mm -hmm.